you know, what do they call it? Majestics. Mm, majestic. There's more, yeah, there's more places than Majestics and Virac Harbor. Yeah, uh, so. It, it, but you know what? The Philippines is fickle. It's a fickle place for swell. You know that, okay? Yeah. The South China Sea, you know, it, 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 the west coast of the Philippines. You get, we get, you know, I remember plenty of days in the wintertime, you know, like November yeah. through February, March, those cold fronts that come down off of China, you know, and, you know, great weather. You know, great weather over there. And, but then, you know, usually the biggest surf happens during typhoon season. And, you know, and, and there may be surf over there on the west coast of the Philippines, you know, and all those areas. But, you know, the, the conditions, you know, it's always, it's always windy. It's always rainy. So you have to find these little tucked away spots. So until you get up by like, until you get up by La, La Union and North, you know, you, you don't get away from the weather, but you still get the wind. And then, and then on the, on the West coast, you know, you're open, you're open to, to, to typhoon season, you know, I mean, I've had many, many great experiences, you know, just not a drop of water out of place. just perfect, you know, but it's a long time sometimes between typhoon swells. It's like mm. the, the Philippines doesn't catch any Southern Hemisphere swells. Okay. They don't catch Southern mm. Hemisphere swells from New Zealand or <laughs> anything south of the equator does not get past the Solomon Islands. Okay. That New Guinea, mm. New Guinea, New Caledonia, it all blocks all South swell going to the Philippines. All right. And so, you know, the, the, the seasons are, it's fickle. You know, you have to have time to hang out and wait or you have to be rich and just be able to pay for that ticket with five days notice and get over there uh, and, and you know if you could take the philippines and move the philippines further out move the whole philippines east in the pacific ocean like like maybe right above ponape all right yeah it, it would be it would be it would be just like indonesia Mm. all right because because then you you get typhoons you get north swells you get south swells stuff like that but it's not that ain't gonna happen here's Ponape, here's Guam. it forms right here here's the philippines it starts okay. going towards the philippines and before it gets to the philippines it starts going north before it gets to japan it goes northeast that's yeah, how yeah. The, that's how typhoons are supposed to act all right <laughs> So that's what they're supposed to do. That's the perfect typhoon, you know, so. They each have their own flavor, you know? If you're gonna talk about areas that have the most surf spots in the, in, in the closest amount of area, you're looking for province names? <laughs> I got a bunch of pictures. I got a bunch of them. Number three <clears throat> would probably be Samar. And those two wow. are by, by Northern Samar. This is all Northern Samar. Mm -hmm. Middle Samar. Wow. And number two, Shargao. And the reason that Shargao area is, is number two is because it's so freaking crowded. And that's why, why Balair Town, Cementos and Balair doesn't make the top three, just because of sheer numbers of surfers. Number one. Oh, that's big. Back then. Back wow. Then. That. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my God. Too many laughs. I like rights. <laughs> oh, now back then, back yeah. then, of course, right outside our back door. I'm the oldest. Ah, that way. Okay. Okay. 
and there's Grandy Island. Grandy. Right out, yeah, in front of our house. This is a place outside of Subic Bay, north of Subic Bay, before Pundakit, mm. Pundakit. And this is on the way to Pundakit. Yeah, Pundakit, San Antonio, the river mm. mouth. Yeah. That was, that, that was the closest place to our house. The water was always so clean and it, there was always good beach breaks and there's good reef breaks. There's reef breaks south yeah. of Pundakit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's bays down there. Yeah, there. yeah. So, where's that? That's a left. Yeah, that's Pundakit. It's Pundakit. Really? <laughs> a giant typhoon spot. <laughs> Okay, so that's number one. Number two, it took a long time to get there, but yeah, the Balear, Balear back then was that was that was our go-to spot because it catched both north swells and typhoon swells. There's the first shot of Charlie's Point. Oh, oh, and this there is, and there is Raúl at Cementos. Wow. Charlie's Point. It gets good on occasion. You know, it gets good on occasion, Charlie's Point, but you know, it's still, you know. And then third on the list was uh, La Union. Oh. Yeah. So there's a lot of places in the Philippines that. People aren't surfing yet. Yeah. Those are my favorite three. Those are the easiest ones to get to. 